hey guys it's Elma here again with another YouTube video for this video I'm gonna show you how to make a thumbnail with PowerPoint I used to use PicMonkey but PicMonkey is no longer free so I'm gonna go um, back to PowerPoint like I used to do my thumbnails so today I'm gonna show you how to make thumbnails with PowerPoint and I hope you guys like this video and let's get started so the first step is to open up PowerPoint here are some designs that you can use for your thumbnails but for my um, thumbnail, I'm going to use a blank presentation to be more creative. The first thing before you start creating your thumbnail is to go to design and make sure the slide size is widescreen format, which is 1280 by 720. Right here, we also have format background, which you can use to make a solid fill which is basically one color in the background we also have um gradient fill which you can use different colors to make um different effects in the background and you can also change the colors we also have um picture or texture fill which has some pictures um that are really nice for your um thumbnail next we have pattern fill which has different types of patterns you can use um for your background of your thumbnail you can also change the colors So now I'm going to start um, creating my thumbnail and my title is going to be how to create a thumbnail with PowerPoint. Um, this thumbnail is for this video. Next I'm going to choose a text and size that I think that I want for my thumbnail. You can get more um, fonts in the font. Um, dot com I believe I'll leave a link in the description box and you can get more fonts from there they have some very nice ones so now I'm gonna get started with my background I think I'm gonna go with a gradient fill which is basically on um, different colors um, that you can use at the same time to create your thumbnail and I think I'm gonna go with a pink and blue um, I can't find the pink I want here so I'm gonna go to more colors and um, create like a pink that I want so here is the blue I um, like for my thumbnail and what I like to do is play around with the arrows to see the different effects that it creates So right here is a thumbnail that I created um, the PowerPoint before this one. When I am finished, when I am finished creating my background and title for my thumbnail, I'm going to look on Google for a picture that relates to my video, and I decided to go with the PowerPoint logo and insert it into my um, PowerPoint. And you can change the borders of the picture. You can um, also change the like the corners. You want to like a sharp like edge or if you want to like a rounded corner um there's different effects that you guys can choose from here and um i'm gonna place it and i decided to make a copy of it and like make two put two logos in my thumbnail because i am talking about powerpoint that's basically all i'm talking about and how to make a thumbnail with powerpoint so i decided to go with these and like i said you guys can use um there's different effects on powerpoint that you guys can use you can change the colors, you can crop the picture, there's different things, all you have to know, do is like choose these colors right here. Um, the best way to know how to use PowerPoint is to play around PowerPoint and it's going to help you create your thumbnails faster and easier the more you get used to it. You can also insert different shapes. Um, right here, there's hearts, um, lightning strikes, um, triangles, squares. There's different things um, you can put in your PowerPoint. When you are finished um, creating your PowerPoint thumbnail, you want to go to File, Export, and um, create the title that you want to create for your thumbnail.
When you are finished um, creating the title of your thumbnail, you want to save it as a JPEG format. Make sure it says 1280 by 720 and click export. And you also want to save it as a PowerPoint. This is in case you want to change anything from your thumbnail and um, change the picture or change like the title. You can change it anything if you have it in PowerPoint format. If you don't have it in PowerPoint format, you're going to have to start all over. So make sure to save it as a PowerPoint also. So that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.